Oh, Boyd Brothers and everybody out there listening to the Boyd Podcast. Excited today. I got Mr. Chris Cooper on with me today, the CEO of Boyd Brothers. Um, he going to talk with us today about what he got going on. Um, but before that, guys, let's talk a little bit about safety. I'm not really going to dig into a lot of stuff today. The most important thing that's going on right now is DV hours. Guys, we really need you guys doing those DV hours before you crank that truck up. You know, a good pre-trip, it, it, it keeps you making money going down the road. Uh, you, you just preventative maintenance. You want to make sure that everything is good before you take off. Uh, because like I told you guys before, you know, I hate for you not to do a DVIR and then what you could have caught doing a DVIR, you end up getting a, a, a citation or something for it, guys. So let's just, just make sure we're doing our DVIRs. But, but, but the reason we're here today is uh, to talk about Mr. Cooper and him being the ATA, on the ATA board, chairman board chairman of the, for the board. ATA. Okay. So, uh, got a few questions I want to run down with him. But first of all, you know what I want to say to uh, Mr. Cooper is, first of all, dude, I just want to tell you, I appreciate everything that you've done for me and my family. You know, I know you probably hear that a lot from people. But, uh, it's, it's, you know, boy, has been a special place for me. I've been here about 12 and a half years. And uh, through those 12 and a half years, I, I, I feel like we build a – Pretty solid relationship, and uh, you've helped me through my career. And uh, just just want to say thank you, man. It, it means a lot to me, and it means a lot to my family. Uh, what Boyd does for us. Yeah, it's the first time you ever call me Mister Cooper. Yeah, it's no, kind of weird. It is. It is. I've never heard you, that from you. Before. I know you. You. You know. Every now and then, you have to put on a professional. <laughs> You know, you, I have to be a little professional. I'm, so. I'm Chris for all those. Yeah. And uh, looking behind the camera, big dog. <laughs> but, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. So. Now let's get into this 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 deal. So tell us a little bit about your role at the Alabama Trucking Association on the chairman board. Yeah, I'm I am currently the chairman of the Alabama Trucking Association, okay. which I serve a one year term, June to June, and uh, I represent all the trucking. You know, I'm I'm the chairman of the Alabama Trucking Association, which is all the truckers in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. Which you know we we are we're a lobbying group that represents all the interests. You know, from a lawmaker's standpoint, you know, we, we talk to a lot of politicians. We influence a lot of politicians. And that's basically what we do in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. Also on the national ATA board as well. But okay. I think we're just focusing on the Alabama Trucking Association. That, right yeah, now. we're focusing on ATA uh, today. Uh, so tell us what does that mean to represent in, uh, being, being a representative on that board and also being here at board? Oh, man, it's been a it's been a ride. Uh, I was kind of thinking about it coming into this uh, interview, you know, and I think you'll get to it in a minute, but it, it's an honor uh, it, it, to be selected, to get in the chair. It takes a couple years, three years, three or four years mm -hmm. to get in this seat. And then, you know, it's a three-year commitment on the backside. So it's just an honor to be here, to, mm -hmm. to represent the state of Alabama and all the truckers in this state. And a lot of the, a lot of the men and women, on the board and, and with the association have been there for a long time. So we're all kind of like a close knit family group, kind of like Boyd brothers is. You're a first chairman, um, who was the third generation chairman, you know, how does it feel to follow the footsteps of your granddad and your mom who also sit on that board? Yep. People like to do things on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a world where people like bootstrap, you know, I did this by my own from scratch up. This is a case that I am third generation. Mm -hmm. My granddad started the company with his two brothers, and he bought his brothers out. And then my mother ran the company for a long time, and mm -hmm. then I followed her role. Uh, been through a lot of lot of history with that. Oh yeah. And and for me personally, I it, it it's a pride's a bad word, mm -hmm. but it's a good word in this respect. I'm honored to be elected i'm honored to serve in this role trucking has been really really good to me and my family mm -hmm. over the last 70 years and it's just a kind of a way for me to give back but to be third generation is special it's uh it's kind of cool when you walk in the alabama trucking association front lobby and you see the the the, the picture board and mom and granddad's pictures are up there and then knowing that mine will be up there for for years to come that's awesome man that's awesome so i think you've been around what 26 years, over 26 years, you know, and, you know, you've seen a lot 
But over the 26 years, how have you seen Boyd evolve and the outlook for Boyd for years to come? It's a good question. Uh, I've seen a lot. I'd say 26 years, uh, God, we are much more – data-driven company now mm -hmm. i think we're we're we execute really good mm -hmm. not to say we didn't in years past but the industry has changed and the company has evolved as the industry has changed mm -hmm. uh you know not to get too far in the weeds but man a lot of stuff we used to do differently oh than yeah. you even know when you started we've, <laughs> oh, talked, yeah. we've had these discussions yeah, a lot. yeah. That you just can't do now <laughs> yeah you yeah. know times have changed yep. rules have evolved uh there's just there's been a, there's been great great people at Boyd Brothers over the last 26 years full time that I've been involved, mm -hmm. and 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 good people come and go, but the one thing that I don't want to say is the DNA of this organization mm -hmm. is our drivers. Oh yeah, 100 percent. The drivers are what make Boyd Brothers great. Oh yeah, and we've been very blessed and very fortunate to have some rock solid guys yep. through the years. Yep, yep, I mean, you yep. can go down the list, and you know them as well oh, as yeah. I do, or better than I do, yep. probably. Mm -hmm. uh, but just you know, that—that's the fiber of our, our our company, and we we try our dangest to put as much money and and support our drivers as best we can. That's not a line of of stuff. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. Good deal. Good deal. Well, I just want to you know just see if it is there anything that you just thinking about this morning or. Just anything random like that you, whenever you're talking to somebody, you may want to instill into somebody. Any message you want to leave us with inside employees or anybody that may be watching this this podcast? Uh, because, like I said, you're a man of many talents, and I tease you all the time. But, you know, I like what you got going on. And, uh, you know, any word of wisdom to help somebody that may be looking to advance their career or do multiple things to, you know, Keep life rolling. Well, since we're focused on Alabama trucking, mm -hmm. I'd like to give a shout out to Mark Colson and all the staff down in Montgomery. First oh, yeah. of all, oh yeah, you guys do a wonderful job. Thank y'all so much. Uh, the whole crew down there, thank you so much. Uh, and I know Cindy, we're we're praying for you. Lost your lost your family member this week, and please know we're everybody has you in our in our prayers. Second of all, and I touched on it a minute ago, and I want to do it again in in a in a, in a little bit more organized sentence structure. Our drivers are what makes this company. Mm -hmm. Drivers are what moves America. Mm -hmm. I take great pride in that. Uh, I've never seen a train pull up to a Publix or a Home Depot mm -hmm. or Lowe's. Sorry for yeah. all the customers out there. I didn't oh, recognize no, it's, that. It's, but, it's but, but trucks move America. Our yep. drivers, but our drivers are in those trucks and they move America. And if you kind of look back over the history of this country, not to get too deep, but President Eisenhower put in the interstate and defense system. That's the proper name of it. Mm -hmm. And that's really given our country a strategic advantage on the rest of the world. That and, the, and, and a couple other things. But to what you ask as far as advice, part of what I've been doing lately is start trying to think bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, think bigger but execute small. And right. I think that that's kind of if you could if I could wake up every day with that intentionality and focus to think large, think long term, think big, but execute everything small really, really well in, in granular status every second. That's what that's the key that I'm focused on right that's, now. That's, and that's kind of some that's, advice that's, I can pass along. That's perfect, guys. Think big. And just one more thing before we end this podcast, just this is just a message you want to leave to the drivers. Um, I know you've touched on a couple of different things yeah. um, about them moving America, but is there any message you want to leave for 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 our boy drivers from the we end this? from my heart and the, your heart and all of us inside these walls? Thank you so much, y'all. Uh, y'all move America, and and to the Boyd Company drivers, uh, Boyd Companies drivers, thank you very much. Um, you you you've, you've You've done a wonderful job. You do a wonderful job every day. And please know that our number one goal is to put as much money in your pocket as possible and uh, and support you in every way we can. So, All right. Thank, thank you. you, Mr. Cooper. We, we definitely appreciate it. And uh, to everybody out there, uh, if you want to watch this podcast, you know, follow us on our social media platforms here. And also, if you're looking for a truck driving career, 
versus the truck driving job, go boy.